Hi, this is a series I'm going to call a content gap. Uh, today we're going to focus on low power mode. Now, what is low power mode? Well, it is a feature that's found on Intel and Apple Silicon Macs uh, that are newer than... I don't know. As you can see here, I tried searching that up, but um, I came up with Buckus. So we're just going to continue. I found information before, but I can't find the same article that I found before. You find low power mode buried in the system preferences application, which you go into system preferences, then you go into battery, and well, this is where it is. Not hard to find, but then again, many people don't know what it is, don't know what it does, don't even know it exists. This feature originated on the iPhone, and it took a long time for it to catch up to the iPad. And by then, well, it only took like a year or two for it to appear on the Macs as well. And this feature on the Mac side was introduced uh, with macOS 12 Monterey. But anyway, low power mode enables you to save power on your Intel or Apple Silicon Mac. On Apple Silicon, it does quite a bit more, uh, I mean, visible to, to the naked eye than the Intel one does. But I'm going to tell you what the Intel one does because I don't have an Apple Silicon MacBook anymore. I verified some of this information using this tool. This is called uh, the Intel Power Gadget, and there's also an MX version of it uh, that was developed by someone else, by the community, which is always awesome to see. Also, that's where to go download it if you want it. So the top is how much power you're using, I mean, for just the CPU package, and also the different parts of so the CPU part and the GPU part, because yes, most processors in, a, in MacBooks come with a GPU inside the processor itself. Below that, you'll, you will see the processor's speed. It's clock speed, which it's base speed, which every processor has a base clock speed is 2.4 gigahertz, but mine for some reason runs, like it's an i9, so it's 2.4 gigahertz, but it runs up to 2.6. No idea why, it just does that. That's what it uh, bottoms out at in low power mode. Now this i9 uh, Intel processor can boost all the way up to five gigahertz. However, I've actually never seen that happen. It goes up to about 4.8. It doesn't go any higher. So I have no idea when that would happen. But apart from that, it, yeah, it got close enough. So 4.8 gigahertz, eight cores on your lap. And this thing, this thing, this sh thin sheet of metal on your lap that, that's drawing a hundred watts within it. The fans will not speed up until it is well over 180 degrees. I don't think anyone thought this through. Which is why low power mode is a great option. So this processor will um, boost to 4.8 gigahertz, huh? Well, that's a lot more power than you need to, uh, well, browse YouTube, for example, or record with Audacity, or uh, even recording a video with a webcam or something. You don't need that much raw power uh, on your CPU for that. So it'd be nice to save a little bit of power, and because it's saving power, it saves on heat output, which also keeps it, the machine quieter for longer. Your MacBook might even be comfortable to use on your lap. And because it uses less power, your battery will last several hours longer than it would have otherwise. I've only gotten about an hour and a half to two hours on the uh, last i9 MacBook playing Minecraft with a few friends. But with low power mode on, I was about, I was, I got around uh, three hours, which is kind of insane because that's longer than the M1 Pro MacBook Pro, the 16 inch one lasted doing the same thing without low power mode. So that's actually way better than I was expecting. Normally, this will not be in low power mode. So let's see what happens when we turn that off. As you can see here, it's turned on already, but as soon as I turn it off, the clock speed boosts instantly to like 4.6 gigahertz and then down to, to 3.9 because I'm recording with OBS. That doesn't need all of the CPU at all times. So it only boosts up to 4.6 sometimes and it settles around 3.9, which is still that's four gigahertz, that's a lot. And it's a lot for the same result. So I turn it back on and the power immediately jumps back down to like 13 watts or something. And the clock speed bumps down to uh, 2.6 gigahertz. Which it's a tad higher than the base clock speed of this processor. Now this has the um, benefit of lower power consumption and lower heat output, lower fan speed, quieter machine, better machine, everything, except Things will be slightly slower. They won't be as snappy as it would have been if your machine was running at 4.8 gigahertz at all times, of course. But trading that kind of snappiness for a little bit less snappiness and a much better experience overall, 
I'd take that over a loud, noisy, annoying, burns your peen computer. Intel processors are very power hungry chips, so this is a good way to save on a little bit of that. And well, if you have a recent enough Mac, that's a great way to get more battery life out of your machine. Uh, this is the last one with the i9 in it. These also came with i7s, and I believe this trick also works with those, uh, along with Intel Max back to like 2016, the meme year. And it's not like they could put uh, bigger batteries in these. I mean, they did up until this MacBook, which this has the uh, biggest battery you can put in a portable device before you can no longer uh, take it on an aircraft. This one you can, and this, this has the, the biggest battery that you will find in a MacBook for a very long time. So of course, there had to be some other way to uh, get more battery life out of it, which is why this is a feature. Also because that's a feature in iOS. A good time to turn off low power mode is, uh, well, when you set the fan speed to 100%, which you can do with another third party tool called Max Fan Control. And yeah, it's actually spelled M-A-C-S, Max Fan Control, no idea why. There is a version for Windows of Max Fan Control, so I recommend just anyone get that if they have a MacBook on macOS or Windows, both sides. But if you need extra power, you can always turn low power mode off anytime you want. It's just a flip switch. I mean, you can do, do that what you want. I turn low power mode off when I'm uh, about to play Minecraft or my game isn't running as well as it should. I turn off low power mode and uh, that usually helps. However, um, after that, if I'm just on Discord chatting with some friends not actually playing anything, maybe watching one stream or two, then um, I might turn the power mode back on, because I don't need all that extra power. And it's just wasting electricity, wasting my battery life, and making the machine harder than it needs to be for the task at hand. So yeah, this is a really good option uh, for those who don't need all of that extra power. This is a feature I use all the time, I, and I don't imagine I could go without it. This has been I Read Redux. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great MacBook usability test. Man, I was all over the place. This is going to take forever to edit. You're going to have outtakes. I think we should start the outtakes. This is called uh, the Intel Power Gap. <clears throat> this feature originated in iOS biggest battery you can put in a portable device before you cannot. This was recorded on a MacBook Pro, the last of the uh, Intel MacBook Pros uh, of the 16-inch variety. This was recorded on a MacBook Pro, the last of the i9 models um, that have 16 in. This was recorded on a MacBook Air. Fuck. This was, this was recorded on a MacBook Pro, if you have a, a reason little bit. <clears throat> okay. Okay. All right. That's a great way to get more power. That's a great way to get more um, energy life. This was recorded on a MacBook Pro, the last of the i9 models um, that have 16 in. This was recorded on a MacBook Pro, the last of the uh, Intel MacBook Pros uh, of the 16-inch variety, until, until it is kind of insane, because that's longer than the M1 Max. What the hell? Oh wait, that's normal. Okay. Oh, oh, Alright, silence the alarms. <clears throat> I thought my Mac Pro under my desk was... Uh, Way more broken than it appeared. It's fine. <laughs> no, this feature does not exist in Windows. This is a macOS only thing. As you can see here, uh, I turn it on. I... <clears throat> now, albeit, uh... <clears throat> but you should always turn. I turn it on. I turn it off when, um. I turn. <clears throat>